Thank you, Jack. Wes Leonard was more than just a star on the court. He left a big impact on the community where he lived and the school he attended. 24-Hour News 8's Joe lafergie has been on the Fenville campus throughout the day today, talking with players and coaches. Joe? Yeah, you know, Susie, in a story like this, words like shock, tragedy, and heartbreak, they don't even begin to tell the story here in Fenville tonight. It only took a moment. The joy of an open court run, the finger roll layup, the guarantee of a perfect season, and above all, the on-court heroics of a young man who helped make it happen. In that one moment, triumph turned to tragedy. You never thought that it would end like this. Everyone's just running around cheering, having a good time, and who knew we his last one. Just like that, the mood on the Fenville court went from the highest high to the lowest low. All you can think about is everything you've done with them, those last moments. I was picking them up like four seconds before that, picking them up. It was just after the players ended their on-court celebration and started heading towards the bench. Coach Ryan Klingler had headed for the locker room. And I just heard someone screaming for me. And, and just a scream that I knew something was wrong. A Fenville parent who's an EMT rushed to Leonard's side, performing CPR on the 16-year-old. Leonard was taken to the emergency room at Holland Hospital. He died at 1040 Thursday night. Wes Leonard was the quintessential all-American kid. Uh, that small town boy, the quarterback, um, the basketball star, who kids looked up to, who kids admired, and uh, who was a friend to all that he came across. And after a long day of sharing their collective grief in private, it poured out in one final moment before the cameras. He was just a special kid with a passion that you just don't get to see all the time. And Field arrangements for West Leonard are set. Visitation will be Sunday from 2 to 4 and 6 to 8 at Fenville United Methodist Church. That's right on Main Street here in Fenville. The funeral will be held Tuesday at 10.30 in the morning at Christ Memorial Church in Holland. Now, tonight here in the Fenville School District, they have canceled the middle school dance, but they've also canceled the play here at the high school, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. That play directed by Wes Leonard's mother, who's a music teacher here in the district. Live in Fenville, Joe LaFerge, 24 Hour News 8.